capital, which is more than the critical uh, value. Also, there is a significant difference uh, exists when the respondents are grouped according to the age, as revealed by the uh, result, which is uh, exceeding the critical value. And also, when, uh, when it is grouped according to the educational level. So, we come out with conclusion that the Saudi public are relatively unaware yeah, on the CSR activities undertaken by the Islamic banks in Saudi, as proven by the relatively small number of questionnaire items which the respondents agree to or which they have <coughs> adequate knowledge on. The level of public awareness of the pursuit of CSR by the banks in this study varies significantly, as shown by the differences of the respondents' answers to the questionnaire when they are grouped according to their respective banks, age, and level of education. At the end, um, the study wants to recommend to the Islamic banks in general in Saudi, and particularly those banks used in the sample, to intensify their efforts to make their clients more aware of the programs and activities or CSR programs and activities undertaken by the bank. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, please give one more applause. Uh, thank you for your energetic presentation. Since he must leave earlier, so we give uh, 10 minutes yeah, uh, for the audience to make any comments or questions for him. Anyone having comments? Yeah, please. Just look right. Have you made uh, five million please? analysis? Let's say, for example, gender and the responses. Are they independent oh. or they are significantly related? Oh, we, we don't put the gender as, as one of the. Oh, gender. No. Okay, no. that's the age. So yeah. you group the age. Age. The age and the. Age, uh, level of education and the bank. All level of, yeah. Have yeah. you made some bivariate analysis? Yes. What it shows? Yeah, they oh. are independent or not? No, we, we use. Uh, no, we, we use t-test just to, to see whether there are significant difference or not. And we, we found actually uh, there is a significant difference when the respondents are grouped according to the level of education. So that's individual you made. I don't know. Just they say you can try that. If you make the chi-square test, because these are categorical data, mm -hmm. rank data, so chi-square test will tell you whether, let's say, as you say, the education level and these CSR activities, whether they're independent or not. You can do it later. Yeah, thank you very much okay. for your suggestion. And then the next one, yes. Thank you, excellent presentation. Uh, I just happened to uh, review or read a paper recently uh, which compared ethical investing or socially responsible investing and Islamic investing. Uh, and some people would disagree with you uh, in terms of using CSR to apply to Islamic banks because the Western concept of CSR involves Things, uh, issues such as human rights, uh, you know, treating your employee well, uh, employee safety, and most importantly, environmental issues. You know, how careful are we about the environment and so on? Yeah. I think the questions for the study you did, uh, we could call it governance at Islamic banks rather than corporate social responsibility at Islamic banks. Do you agree with that? Oh, I, I'll give comment to, to your question if it's possible. Uh, thank you, Doctor, for your comments. Um, it's always a debate when we use the conventional term for Islamic banks. Always we, people will criticize why should we use conventional terms uh, to be applied for Islamic financial institutions. They, they are not in line because this is secular, this is Islamic. But to try to solve this problem, actually the CSR statements that we are using in this study based on the Standards taken from the standard setting body for particular Islamic financial <coughs> institution, only for uh, Islamic financial institution, which is called AAOIP, Accounting Auditing Organization for Islamic Financial Institution. So there is no, uh, what we cannot be doubt on the capacity of AOIP uh, to, to, to issue the standard because it is specialized for Islamic financial institution. But they use CSR? Yes. CSR. Yeah. But they don't care about environmental issues. Uh, this is what, what they think about the CSR for Islamic Financial Institution, 15 statements. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think I will uh, give the chance to the other. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. you. You mean you, you include firstly 15 items, out of them 8 become... Uh, five. 
point they become uh, the the weight average is above or three, point three point five five, and it seems to be that this is the only motivation for investor to go to Islamic banks. You mean no. Uh, the study is actually just want to test whether the depositors are aware or not uh, that the Islamic banks conduct CSR activities. Yeah, if they are aware, they will see. Yes, I I know. Yeah, awareness means motivation. Awareness means to help me to go this direction or this direction. No, only know that that it is that, there or not yeah. there. Yes. Oh, that's that's yeah. okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any other comments? Yes, please. Uh, how do I cover myself? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We need someone to please. Okay. Let me take it. Okay. okay. Um, well, just to explain <laughs> the analysis for that, um, I think you have got good data, but you can do more than that. The weighted average, um, your population mean will be somewhere around 2.5 or 3, depending on what you want to use, right? Because we have a scale of 1 to 5. So to be quite unfair for your data also, if you take 3.5 to be the population mean. So um, I think maybe for each of those questions you have, you can do independent t-test for each of the statements mm -hmm. and see which one? Because your mean is just a descriptive statistic. But just to validate it a bit with some kind of, you know, hypothesis testing. So you can see if each of the statements is statistically significant as it were. Then um, I was also a bit confused because Skawalis is a non-parametric test. T-test is a parametric test. And so your data could not have, you know. So maybe, maybe, um, yeah, maybe like he said, you can use the chi square since most of your data be perhaps are categorical yes. then the kuskawalis test you know can also but if most of your data are not in that particular form and you have used t-test you can do an over because what basically you want to use t-test for is the sample cannot be more than two two divides if more yes. than two divides then you use simple an over so it will still be okay if you do it that way just a comment, yeah. not a question. Thank you very, very much for your comments, and uh, I would like to take this comment for future uh, okay. research, inshallah. Okay, I think uh, one more comments or question. You go first, I have to comment yeah. on that comment. Is that okay? You, you, you're going to comment on that comment. Okay. Then after that, I will comment. <laughs> okay, please. Okay, yeah. thank you. Actually, what's happened in statistics? Uh, once you want to test any, any, any hypothesis, First, we should uh, we assume that the data is normal distributed because if you have more than 32 observation, this means you you assume by the the uh, rule of thumb of statistics that your data is distributed normally. So, uh, if you want to, if the uh, uh, if the statistic test, parametric test like t test or ANOVA give you gives you a significant relationship, that's fair enough. If they don't give you a significant ratio, you can go to non-parametric and say, now, I assume that my data is not normal distributed, so I want to check whether the rank of the, the answer is still uh, significant or significant. So I can use two of them, but under the condition that the first t-test assumption that normal distribution is not help me to, to find significant ratio, uh, so I can go to the second non-parametric technique, and you can assume that my data is not normal distributed, so I want to check uh, my nuclear test or Kawas test, and I can use uh, also a square test to see significance between uh, my standard or between my sub Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. So my comment to your comment is that we give a close to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much for your uh, informative and energetic presentation, and have a safe.